Welcome back guys, this is KY Coins and Collectibles, and it's finally back. After 55 days, uh, my submission to NGC has returned. I've got a video of the submission and all the coins I've sent. I will post it up here in the corner. So if you've not seen it first, watch it up here, and this will be the coins that are from that video. I submitted them on May 30th, and today is, well, today is the third, uh, July 30th, but I got them last week. I've been on vacation. I got them on July 24th, so it was 55 days from the day I took it to the mailbox and the day they came back. Uh, <clears throat> they come back FedEx, uh, so that's... I've not looked on the website to see what grades I've got. Uh, I had a lot of uh, Morgans and Peace Dollars that I submitted. Uh, last time you may have seen one of my other videos, I submitted a bunch of PCI coins that were in the PCI grade uh, coin holders. This time I submitted seven, and this is the tabs from them. So we're wanting, I'm wanting to see how they come back graded. Uh, <clears throat> I'm expecting may get some questionable colors because a lot of those PCI, uh, PCI coins had heavy toning. And that's one of them from PCGS I got back. Beautiful coin, but like we expected, they put questionable color, unk details. Uh, so I've submitted seven PCI coins and then the rest are, are Morgans and Peace Dollars that I had in my collection that I just wanted to get graded that looked pretty good. Thought should get some higher grades. Uh, I don't have what I sent in front of me, so I kind of don't remember what all I sent. I sent 20 coins though. Most of them were Morgans and then a handful of Peace Dollars. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I've not looked, don't know what I got, don't know what they said, so we're going to find out together. Let me get into this thing. I'm sure there was an easy way of doing this, but I had to make it look difficult. There we go. Okay. There they are. They're all in holders, looks like. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to try to not see any grades if they put grades on this thing. So, nope, this is just a list, the declared list. So that's what they are. So what we'll do, we'll kind of go through it. Uh, a couple piece dollars. Had another 34 I wanted to get graded. I had a 34 I got graded from PCGS. Ended up being a Mint State 63. And I had one that I thought was similar, pretty close.
so we'll see how it compares. And a couple nice 22, uh, 1922, 23s, uh, 1881S, 88P, 79O, 85P, 96P. Wasn't any really hard grades. Those are just some of my better coins. I thought all were pretty mint state, so didn't see anything rare in. Uh, so, and like I said, we'll we will see how they crossed over. If they did, if they didn't, we'll see what PC I had, and we'll see what NGC said. So, let's start. This looks like. And maybe the 34, the 22, just regular 1922, Mint State 62. Not bad looking coin, straight graded, so that's good. And these NGCs have really thick edges. I don't remember my other ones having those, but. Beautiful. 62. 62, 22. We'll put these over to the side. Another 22. Another 62. Okay, not bad, not bad. That one's kind of loose. So I guess this has to be the... No, I had a couple 23, 23 in there. This is the 23, 1923. There was a little mark. It may show up better on the camera. See right there at the N and G in God there, like a rub mark. So I'll see what they say about that, which it's a beautiful coin. 64. Nice. Yeah, I was worried about that little rub mark. I don't know. Y'all may know if somebody's tried to rub on it or clean it or I don't know, but great details. Good luster. Very nice. 64. Twenty-three, nineteen twenty-three, AU fifty-five. Yeah, now this one's got some more marks on it. On the cheek, there's a gash, might blow her eye. She's been in a fight. Got her eye cut down a little bit, but. AU55. The back is really nice. Now, this may be the other 34. Because I think the rest of them, yep. So, this is the other 1934. Look at the back. Sorry if I'm not holding these good enough to, so you can see them. I'll try to do better. Let's compare before we show the grade. Uh, 
I think this one's a little better. 64. Well, good. This one's got a little... They're both saying they're 64, so let's look at it. What do y'all think? PCGS, NGC coin. I like I like the look of this one better. Both beautiful, amazing coins. This one's great details. We think. PCGS, NGC, both 64s, both beautiful coins. That's a nice one. Okay, and the rest of these are Morgans. And I'm going to lay these out because as we come to them, I think most of them are toned and we're going to be able to tell which ones are which. I like the back of that one. You can kind of see the toning it's got started around the letters. That is a 1881. S Mint State sixty three. Now let me see if I have more than I think that was the only eighty one S I had, so PCI had it at Mint State 65. And GC 63. There's your difference. And I've said it before in the other videos, but I've always heard they're about two grades lower. A grade and a half to two grades lower. And it's kind of proven that itself to be true from what I've seen so still a beautiful coin lay that one over to the side great time so I can see this one's going to be a PCI too because there's some toning right there. This might be, I believe I had bought some, I tried, I bought some at my local coin shop and they had toning on them. No, I didn't get to submit those. That was coins I bought after I submitted, I believe. So this may be a PCI. Sorry, I'm confused. Uh, but let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this is definitely a PCI. Look at that. I mean, it's almost looks gold plated. Unk details. Artificial toning. Mmm. It's not a good sign. See, and that's an 81S too. So, let me see. I did have two eighty two eighty one S's, my bad. So I bet you that I bet you this one was the eighty one S, not this one. This was probably one I had. So this is the eighty one S PCI. So even worse, unk details, artificial toning. Yeah, go figure. But 
still a beautiful coin it's uncirculated so I say we'll see a lot of this we'll put that down here in the a pile of its own a beautiful back on that this one looks good and frosty the 88 Philly Net State 62 beautiful I think this was just one I had laying around I wanted to grade and I can see some toning around the edges so this is going to be another PCI now thinking back I probably should have broke these PCIs up into separate groups so once they probably seen this one and a couple other PCI comes coins come through they're going to probably say they're all artificial toning now so yeah, look how dark that one is yep unk details artificial toning and that is the 88 Philly I had two of those but I would say that one's it PCI had Mint State 65 plus NGC has Unk Details Artificial Toning some now this one's got kind of like a mirror like finish I see some toning around the edge so this one may be one of the the 66 or the 65 pluses this is the 79 This may have just been one I had. So this wasn't a PCI coin. Ah, unk details, obverse cleaned. Yeah. If you can look close, you can kind of see some hairline. So, which uh, the back is beautiful, like it's. I think that's proof lock or dimple. Big difference in, I mean, you can see the backs are totally different. You can see the reflection pretty good in this one. but you can see some minor hairlines where they've cleaned still a beautiful coin that's a really nice one I like it another details back on all these PCIs the backs the back of the or the reverse of the coin they look amazing And this is a 85 Philly, Mint State 61. Oh, barely made it. But she's got some cuts on her cheeks as well, some little marks. The fields look pretty good. Great looking coin though.
good looking corn may be cleaned I think this one I wasn't sure about it's got great details but maybe somebody may have rubbed it try to clean it polish it a little bit this is the 1896 yep cleaned I think details cleaned and this one may be the same way great details just kind of has that polish like somebody's cleaned it 78 hunk details cleaned they know got a couple little marks in the field here great looking coin just somebody's cleaned it this one's got some toning so this is probably another PCI coin 84 1884 no it actually has some toning around here let's see 1884 oh cleaned not good which I kind of figured all these would come back artificially toned a lot of the piece dollars come back straight grades a couple of the Morgans have so I'm happy about the 34 piece dollar I really like that one but let's keep going that'll be the highlight of this probably uh oh got a crack no that is a hair So I guess the grader sent me uh, maybe an eyelash. <laughs> Look like a crack. Well, but it looks like the case is cracked. Yeah. Right there. Can you all see it right there? Well, here we go. Eighty six hunk details. Philly artificial toning. Man, they're beautiful coins, crazy toning, but ninety six PCI Men's State sixty five. It's got some crazy colors on it. And what, whenever I was cracking them out of the PCI holders, what really gives it away is the edge of the coin. Like, you can, it's weird. The edge of the coin don't look like a normal tone coin does so I, to me that was a, a giveaway but got some beautiful colors on that one I mean you can tell it's artificial toning backs beautiful some nice blues purples reddish burgundy colors but Well, I know what a Unc Details coin looks like now. 
artificial toned and cleaned but that's part of it how'd you know how'd you guess 89 oh or 99 oh sorry 65 plus like details artificial tone another PCI which one's got a really nice blue right around the rim kind of like a gold amber reddish look in the middle Okay. This one's got some nice toning on the back. It's kind of got a light gold haze to it. Artificial toning. Which this one ain't as bad. But like I said, when they seen all these and they seen the rest of these, they knew. I mean, I could have tried to sneak one in with a bunch of regular. They may have passed, but I think you can tell. I mean, they see thousands, so millions. They know. The guy was probably like, oh, we got some more PCIs coming in. Yeah, I'm just going to flip them. Artificial toning, 98. Philly, PCI, Men's State 65, NGC. And it's crazy how it's just the front has the crazy toning. So how do they do the front and the back looks amazing? Like, come on guys, just keep the front looking as good as the back and you do better but this one's I mean it's got nice blue goes into like a reddish orange there's no and this one's got some nice toning on the back that looks more maybe like real toning. It's kind of sp spattered throughout the whole thing. It's weird, it's like speckled. I don't know how much of that details you can pick up on that. details in the front this one's like it's really dull so it's like it's been polished cleaned and then toned yeah that one's that one's really weird looking that's a the 21 PCI in state 66 oh man nice I like the back, but the front is kind of ugly. I'm sorry. Last one. I don't remember which one we've done, which one we didn't do, so it's probably going to be one of those. But back looks really good. So 1900. Actually, not one of those. I guess we've done all of them. Thank goodness. This is a 1900 Philly 61. So good looking coin. It's got some marks on her neck, the neck area, a couple of small ones on the cheek. This back field has a little rub area. 
back looks really good. The fields are clean. So that was a good one to end it on. I wish they'd done cases. So I don't think there's anything else in there. Okay, guys. The review here. PCI. Artificial toned. Artificial toned. Good looking coins. Just way too toned. And here was one, I sent one of my nicer ones that I liked that looked like a deep cameo PCI. This was a PCI as well. And it come back questionable color. So I guess artificial toning, questionable colors, same thing. They just say, our NGC says artificial toning, PCGS says questionable colors. So, I don't know which one you prefer, but these were all PCIs. I've had a few PCIs come back straight grades. They didn't have the artificial toning. Uh, they were a couple grades lower, so it's still, it's still is true. Like, if they say PCI says Mint State 65, it's going to come back a 63, 64 if you're lucky. Um, but questionable colors put that one back with my other submission sorry for knocking the camera set those to the side um, these I've bought off a guy that I buy from locally here and he don't he likes to clean them he said they sell better, but I've told him, I said, if you got nice ones, don't clean them, I'll buy them. But he will, I don't know how he does it, but he says he'll polish, polish them up a little bit. And I was like, don't do that. They look good, great details. I mean, you can hardly tell in the details that he does anything, but it takes away that cartwheel. You just you don't see that cartwheel it just kind of goes away whenever they clean them and uh, I mean you know they just lose that cartwheel so clean cleaned I really like this one I thought it was going to be I got a really good deal on this one, but to me it looked proof like. I mean, the backgrounds are very reflective, especially on the back. I know it's got to be on both sides, certain percentage, but these, can you hear it shaking? These are shaking a little bit, but they're in there good but clean cleaned straight great grades straight grades thank you PCI peace dollars straight grades um, I guess my favorite would have to be the 34 to a better year. Great looking coin. I mean, I got my book here. I think the 34s, I think this is my 1924, not 2024, sorry. I'm a hundred years back. The 34s, I believe, are going for 
Kent State 64. About four to five hundred dollars. This one, the newer one, says five hundred. So I've done good on these. I think I barely have eighty, ninety dollars in it. So it was a cherry pick. So I'm very happy with that one. And the same way with my old one. I probably have thirty, or probably seventy eighty dollars in that one it's a 64 as well so very happy with these two a uh, couple nice 60 63's 64's that surprised me with that one having that little rub clean mark on it I was like that was going to going to stop that one. So them are two good ones. 61s, 16th AU. Just a couple marks on it. Check these 62s out. Good luck in coins, which <clears throat> very common year. Let's see what they are. Uh, just regular twenty-two fillies. Sixty-twos. Yeah. Seventy bucks, sixty. So I probably don't have thirty in it. So it's not too bad. Breaking even probably. Submitting all of them. Uh, the sixty four. Let's check that out. The twenty three Philly sixty four. Common year. Philly 64 $75 so I think I like I said probably got 30 40 35 40 dollars in it at most so hey you now this one we'll just check it out 23 s AU uh, about forty four dollars. Yeah, may have lost money on that one. It's okay. And the Morgans, not any crazy years. Let's see what the sixty sixty three is. The eighteen eighty one S. Let me go back a page or two. Eighty one S. Sixty-three, ninety bucks. So ninety dollars, which I like this, and it's got some nice toning. This is the one with the cool toning on the background, starting around the edge. Okay, guys, there they are. What do you think? Yeah, a couple bad bad hits here, but part of it I knew they would I just want to go ahead and submit them uh, I'll probably throw them on my eBay and try to sell them get what I can out of them uh, I've got a bunch more I need to get submitted I will post another video here coming up I have submitted to PCGS and I've got a video I will link it up here if you want to see it um, same thing i done on this one a submission video and then uh, unboxing video so if you want to check out my other videos please do got any good comments questions 
helpful advice, like what I'm doing, like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Have a great day.